You know, Signal Mountain and Polk County met up for the first time ever last season, the start of what should become a great rivalry. Coach Derek Davis said his team's 36-35 win last year was one of the biggest in his 12 years as the Wildcats head coach. The Wildcats five straight wins this season after opening their season with a loss to Bradley Central. They're ranked ninth in the state in Class 3A. Coach Bill Price's Eagles lost three of their first four but came in with a three-game winning streak. Now, Polk County's quarterback, Duncan Coffey, broke his collarbone in a dirt bike accident a few days ago. Josh Silas taking his place tonight and throws a screen pass to Zach Miller, who turns on that blistering speed and goes 70 yards for the Polk County touchdown. Signal Mountain comes right back. Elijah Turnage capped the drive to make it 7-6. to six. But then Polk County scores twice more. It's Miller again. 68 yards on the run, a 10-yard run. It's 18-7. to seven. Then it's Signal Mountain's turn, and it's Reese Phillips' time. Scores on a keeper, throws a TD pass to Madison Bird, then Phillips scores on the keeper again. And Signal Mountain wins it over Polk County, 28-18. to 18. You know, it's a big ball game for us. It's homecoming. Uh, Polk County's got a great football team, and I think we came out second half and played really well. Uh, give a credit to our defense. Fight, heart, you know, we just didn't have it. You know, we we just thought that we would come out and it'd be homecoming, we'd have fun, we win. You know, that's just, it can't happen. We played really good the second half, and that's, that's the way we are accustomed to playing.